Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to graph an index of a function. Creating an index for a function is a great way to then find the points on the graph because you don't have to memorize you know, what the graph looks like. You can literally just plot out the points you get from the index. So let's look at a function like x squared minus 1. We can write an index x and then x squared minus 1 and then find the y values. So we can literally plug in points and see where they're going to graph. Let's start with a point 0. We have 0 minus 1. That gives us our y. That's negative 1. Let's then start with something like 1. That's going to be 1 squared minus 1, so that's 1 minus 1 is 0. Let's look at negative 1. We have negative 1 quantity squared minus 1. That's again 1 minus 1, which is 0. Let's add a few more points. Let's say we have 2 and we'll do negative 2 for the x values. 2, plug it in for x minus 1, so that's 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. Again, for negative 2, you can see we're going to have the same answer. Negative 2 squared minus 1, that's again going to be 4 because a negative times a negative is a positive when you're square rooting it. A negative number is going to become positive. 4 minus 1 is again 3. So maybe if you've graphed parabolas before, you can start to visualize that this is going to be a parabola because these points are even. So we have a graph here, and we're going to literally graph out the points x and y that we got from the index here. So we have 0, negative 1. So we look at 0, we go down 1. We know that's a point. We can check that off our list. We have 1, 0. That's another point. So we go over 1 and we stop at 0 on the, um, the x-axis. That's another point. We can check that off. We have negative 1, 0. Go over negative 1. It's another point. Can check that off. 2, 3. Go over 2, up 3. Check that off. Negative 2, 3. Again, as you can see, it's going to be a mirror image, right, across the y-axis, which gives us a parabola. And that will show us what the graph looks like just from plotting the points we found creating the index of the function. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with us today.